What's up, y'all? We do apologize that the AC is blasting in the background, but it is already 100 and oh, 100 degrees right now. And it's it definitely did, hotter. Yeah, it's so way. hot. I'm sorry, but I don't know how you Arizonians do it. Like it's it's too much right now. Like I'm like literally dying. Anyways, as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be eating new items only from fast food restaurants, and we are starting off at Dunkin' Donuts, and then we'll after that, I. Fat. Yeah, we're, it's, it's going to be real fat. I do have to say this, though, before even getting into this, it's going to be very challenging for me. Obviously, as you guys know, I don't eat meat. So I'm, like, looking over the menu of, like, so many different restaurants, like Culver's and Freddy's and Del Taco and just all these other places. And I'm, like, most of the items are meat. So I'm going to try to, like, maneuver around it and try to see if I can bread. do no i'm gonna try to do some substitutions or i may go to like two different places for like one thing luckily at dunkin donuts we can get breakfast here um that's actually brand new stuff that has you know not meat options but like say for example i was telling nate for lunch i want to try out these new pizza melts from uh pizza hut but Thank they don't you. offer any non-meat options i find that weird and then when you're on the online ordering menu you can't change it so i'm like this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for me it's gonna be super easy for nate because literally i found so many new fast I food eat items anything and everything man so yeah. it's like any food competitions easy yeah but we decided it would be fun to do a little bit of a challenge and try new things because y'all know we're foodies and we love to try new items so. and we like staying in the car as you can tell too yep we so. sure do but we do have a snack video coming so well you know we'll probably film that in the car too <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll find out we got a whole bunch of new fall snacks that'll be next week's video and uh yeah we'll probably be doing that in the car too i just i don't know i feel like it's comfortable too and then we have our own little privacy you know what i mean and someone's staring at us would you drive away yeah oh yeah. i'm sure this fool didn't watch but when i filmed the video alone i'm like in the empty parking lot and then somebody came and parked literally two stops over out of there there was like a hundred parking spots i'm like people are. i'm Everyone like why are you doing that you could go literally Please. half a mile away Anyways, y'all, we're gonna go. go blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go pull through Dunkin' Donuts right now. I literally have a headache already because I haven't eaten a single thing, and um, it's actually already twelve. <laughs> y'all know I'm sorry, but when I'm on vacation and whatnot, I'm not trying to wake up at the butt crack of dawn. Okay, I'm really not. So, yeah. Anyways, I just roll with it. Yeah, he's like whatever. Anyways, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. We're gonna go pull through Dunkin's and then we'll see where else we go through and let's see what we get from Dunkin'. Y'all, I low key ordered a lot. Because they actually just came out with a brand new Ice Spice collaboration. Y'all know. Been talking about. Yes, I love Ice Spice. Y'all already know that. So I got her little collaboration. So we're going to be trying that in just a bit. So anyways, give the video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Y'all, so, so far our Dunkin' experience has not started off very great because first of all, I got the Ice Spice, which by the way, it's supposed to be, a, it's literally already melted. <laughs> it's supposed to be a uh, blended drink that has caramel and whipped cream on it. And this actually has little pumpkin spice munchkins um, blended into it. But clearly there's hey. no whipped cream, no caramel sauce on here. There and none of that to begin with even well clearly they know that well there's no dome well, maybe they think that it melted. no you guys can see there is none and then we had to drive to a different duncan right now because they didn't have the wraps and please tell me why okay the wrap was five dollars and nine cents and then the worker had the audacity to say oh we can switch it out because i ordered myself a little egg wrap which is only a dollar 49 i was like how are you gonna swap swap it out for that like that's the a four dollar yeah, the math is not mathing Anyway, so we drove to another location and Nate got his brand new wrap. I got my brand new ice spice drink. I did get myself some, um, what are those called? Tater, Hash brown rounds, tater, tater tots, yeah, yeah. yeah. And tell me why too, every Duncan, we called like two other ones and they were sold out two of these wraps. Yeah. Both the chicken and the chorizo, so. Damn, I can't believe this melted already. It only took us seven minutes to get to the next location. I think it was already made though, that's why. That's true. We did place a mobile order, but yet it still took them forever to get our food. Ooh. You know what though? That is pretty good. It tastes spicy. Mm hmm. A little spice. Okay, not gonna lie. That's pretty darn good. I don't know what the purpose of having like the blended pumpkin munchkins inside of it because I don't taste I don't it? see any. I don't taste any. I'm just kind of like, mm. Maybe a texture flavor view. You no, know, there's no one. I don't think so. Yeah, oh my gosh. And it says three pumpkin munchkins in there. Maybe that's why th this is like 800 calories, y'all. Literally. Yeah. I was like a little mortified when I saw it. But I'm getting back on my diet on Monday. Are you gonna bust open your wrap? I've, I've noticed that uh, Dunkin's drinks are very expensive. Very expensive with calories? Oh, not very expensive. High calories. That's it? For $5? 
Just well, open at, it and show them. At, at Del Taco, it's about this size and it's only Oh, the like one $2. from Del Taco is bomb. Yeah. <gasps> okay, y'all. This this video ain't starting off too good. It's Dunk okay. is not getting brownie points. Nate, show him the whole damn thing. Take Nate. it out the wrapper. Hot man, it just came out. That, look how tiny that is. For Same in the size dollars. of my hand. But I mean, hey, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna see how it tastes. But oh yeah, oh my yeah. gosh, I'm so sorry. Let me read it to you guys. You guys are probably like, duh, what is it? That's we literally so. we fell off of it already, y'all. Because yesterday yeah. we went to Taco Bell too, and we forgot to like read everything. We're we're a little bit of a mess, okay? So let me go ahead and read this for you guys. It has it's scrambled funny. eggs, chorizo, roasted uh, vegetables, beans, and a mildly spiced cheese sauce in a red pepper la lavash la lavish wrap. I don't know if it's a lavash or whatever. The wrap tastes pretty good. It just tastes like a regular tortilla to me though, a little bit. Um, but overall, I can see why they're sold out. It is very flavorful, and the chorizo itself smells really good. good. It does have a little spice to it, but like that's not overly bad. But still, I do not think it is worth $5. Yeah, I think that should 100%. be like three fifty. Yeah. I do have to say this. Dunkin' Donuts does offer a good variety of food items, especially compared to Starbucks. But their prices are pretty fair, I feel. Like, like, I mean, my, where's my bag? Yeah. Oh, right here. Oh. Like, okay, for example, you get these little hash browns. It's only $1.50, and you get one, two, three, four, four. six. You get six um, of them. Six little hash browns. For only a dollar fifty, not bad. And then this wrap right here, which they were trying to swap out, is a dollar fifty. Which I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I could eat six of these. I don't know why I only got one. I I, I probably only got one because I got scared of that damn ice spice drink being eight hundred calories. I was like, oh, because this is only a dollar fifty. But like, um, uh. <laughs> honestly, this looks like something I could make. Like, this looks really sad. <laughs> Oh my, thank you, Duncan. No. Okay. But still though, like how are they gonna try to swap that out? Like that's $5, this is $1.50. Well, they did offer you two. They did not offer two, he said uh, one. Do you wanna swap it out for that? And I was like, uh huh? So and then that's when he was like, oh, or we could swap it out for, uh, what did he say? What was the other thing he said? Um, oh, hash wrap. browns. He said another another oh, order yeah. of hash browns. He did not say, oh, or for both. I'm like. Do you think I'm stupid? I paid five dollars for that. You want me to swap it out for a dollar fifty? We'd be giving them free cash. We don't like that. Yeah. So, anyways, what'd you rate that? Um, we're gonna go a solid. I'm taking price into consideration, so three and a half stars. Three and a half. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna say this honestly right here is four stars. It's it's actually really good. Like, maybe two because it like melted. But my whole thing is I don't understand the purpose of it having munchkins blended into it because I thought that I would get like that cakey texture. Like last night, for example, I got a shake from for uh, Portillo's. And you could actually taste, like, or like, feel the texture of the cake inside of it. This doesn't. I'm not well, understanding. Well, Portillo's puts an entire cake slice in their shake, so. Okay, I'm gonna have Nate try it now. Nate's Nate's been doing really good on his diet, so I'm trying not to have him have too much fat stuff. Oh, which by the way, this is five dollars and twenty nine cents. Forgot to mention that right here. That sounds about normal though for Duncan, honestly. I mean, all these damn coffee places are so expensive. I, I make my coffee at home. I'm not trying to deal with that. I am barista certified. Thank you very much. That's actually really good. It's really good, huh? At least. Yep, yeah, nope, it's just pretty good. I like. There's it. no texture of of a it, of a donut in there. No, it tastes like a regular uh, frost if you would get one. And honestly, I don't taste that much pumpkin. I taste pumpkin. That's the spiciness. I, I taste it a little bit, but not that much. Overall, it's really good though. Yeah, I still I, I give that four stars. I'm like saying I'm gonna go four stars too. And I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind paying five bucks for this. I, I go to Dutch Bros and pay like seven bucks, or I go to Starbucks and pay five bucks. That is pretty big, I do have to say, for five dollars. Yeah. My whole thing is though, do keep in mind eight hundred calories. Eight hundred. That's a lot. If you're on a diet, don't go there. All right, so that is it for breakfast. I do have to say, it started off with a little bit of a rough start. You got little bumps in the road. Yeah, I didn't bother eating my little egg wrap on camera or hash browns only because that's not new items and I do want to specifically focus on the new items. It also looks very saddening, but it's okay. Yeah, it looked really yeah. sad, honestly. But overall, I do have to say for my little ice spice, y'all y'all know I love ice spice. I do have to say this is a pretty good drink. Um, For the price point, I guess it's fair because every other coffee place is so expensive. So, And I will say for the wrap, it is very unique. I've never seen anything kind of like it because especially mainly with like the tortilla the wrap around the it. inside looks pretty good did you show them the inside yeah, of it we can uh squeeze a little bit out in here yeah it looks pretty good 
eventually you get to the Kessel part, which I got to was, was also made it taste better. Yeah. But I've never seen a wrap like this, so I think it's pretty good. Yep. Anyways, we don't know where we're going to go to for lunch, but you guys will be seeing, so make sure you guys follow along, and we will be going to get a brand new item from, I don't know, one of the restaurants. Somewhere. I do have to say out here in um, Arizona, there is a lot of options out here, so I don't know what we're going to pick yet, but you guys will see pretty soon. Three hours later. It is now time for lunch, and you guys are getting a treat because we are running to three different places for lunch because I did tell you guys that it would be a little difficult for me being that there is not very many non-meat options so we're gonna be going to Carl's Jr. to check out the brand new what is it called big you don't even know huh? Nope. <laughs> it's, called, it's called something like a hedge green chili burger and then also fried pickles are new on the menu at Sonic so we're gonna be trying those little and then appetizer. yeah and then Nate is gonna be trying uh, something from the brisket menu from Del Taco the honey barbecue brisket honey barbecue brisket from Del Taco I thought that was really weird so he's gonna be trying that out I'm gonna be trying out the burger and then we're both gonna be trying out the uh pickles which are pickle fries y'all so i'm pickle super excited fries? for that yeah pickle fries mm. Mm. that'll be interesting sure is. so anyways we're gonna go there right now so let's go along on the journey and y'all let's, let's get, get fat. fatter <laughs> Y'all, we secured all the bags. We got Carl's Jr., Sonic's new fried pickles, and I was gonna be a fat ass and get a pretzel too, but they said they were out of pretzels right now. And Nate got Del a taco. brisket Del Taco, and then we also got a just mango popper. We saw this and it said it was new too, so we were like, okay, let's throw this into the mix too. This is a mango pineapple Sprite popper. With some I'm gonna try this right away because I'm thirsty. Just take my boba like that. Oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Now I ain't getting none. Still in my straw and all. You know what's so nasty? Is it's good, but it's like nasty. It feels like a like pimple popping in your mouth. You never had boba before? This is not boba fool. It's very similar. This is a popper. No, it like pops and squirts in your mouth. That's where a boba's chewy. I don't know. This pops. I, I think the two This is good. good. This is actually really refreshing. They used to have one too, it was like a blue raspberry one. So, wow. That's really good. We'll give us a try in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the fried pickles right here because I'm excited for these. You know what was really weird? They didn't have them on the menu. They didn't have a picture of them. I just saw a commercial for these and I was like, okay, we gotta try that because we love pickles. But y'all, this was $5 for this little, little thing right here. That's Bama. <laughs> <laughs> that's really damn good. That's good. I give that right there a four stars out of five. And that was only $2.29 in case you guys are interested. Normally it's like, you know, sometimes a little sweet because I had one of those before in the past. And yeah, I saw a popper drink there before too. Very, 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 very refreshing. I'm I do just, love it. I'm going to dive into these. There you go. You guys see those right there. I've never seen pickle fries. Oh, that's a, four. It was four eighty seven for those to be exact. They smell very pickly, and I do love me some fried pickles. I do love some pickle chips. I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty damn good for being fast food. I always said before, I don't understand why places don't have fried pickles. Like, I don't get it. Like, I wrote. Am I tripping or is that weird? And why does that look like that? <laughs> <laughs> it Yo looks like not even jelly. It, look it looks uh, like jelly. Jello. This looks like Jelly Ranch. Like, they had it baked Nate. in the sun. Uh, <laughs> throw, throw it out the window. Get it get it out. Oh my god, is the other one like that too? That smells like mo I need ranch. It's I already so dipped it. Eat it. Just eat it. Well, we're gonna see if I get sick from this. It smells foul. And like, there's not that much on there, so I mean. I can't taste anything. Okay, well, there you go. Mm, the pickle's good. Wait, let me. I bet you this ranch is gonna be the same. Like, I like the pickle has a very good yeah crisp. Oh my god. Well, okay, so no ranch from Sonics. I'm really let down. These. I wish you guys can smell these through the camera. It looks disgusting. What's going on in Arizona? And I do have to say, and I told Nate, I'm That's sorry if key. I offend all y'all. I don't care. I really don't. But people in Arizona are just so rude. I was actually really surprised that the, the girl at Del Taco, she was so nice, so sweet, so friendly, but everyone else is rude. Like literally, if you go to the grocery store over here, if you go to Costco over here, everyone's so rude. And people say about California, I'm like, no, over there, I feel like, yeah, at McDonald's, you'll get a couple rude people, but over here, it's like literally everywhere you go. I think it's the heat. heat. Maybe, I don't know. Heat I'm sad about that ranch too. And uh, just everything, I, like Dunkin', today is just not, 
it's not going like I expected. You know what I mean? Because I need some ranch for these. They are good though. Fewer calories though. These are really good. I give them a solid. I give them four stars honestly because I like the crisp on them. Like they don't seem like they're overly fried. Yeah, they're good. Mhm. Mm oh well. You dropped the whole pickle out of there. A little pickle. Uh, I got a pickle. Uh, I got a pickle. I can. I wish. I wish you guys can smell that ranch. Like it smells foul. Like straight up, like mold and like just old. It smells like. Also, you know what it smells like? If you guys have ever smelled like a wet carpet, ugh, that's what it smells like. It's terrible. And he done put the fried pickles in the same bag as the ranch. Whatever, I threw it at the bottom. I'm gonna dive into this burger right here. So I got the big chili burger. Oh, I gotta read it to What's you guys. Up? Let me tell you guys what this is. Cause it is a new burger at Carl's Jr. And honestly, it does sound really good. But I have to say, I have tried the Diablo 666 burger before. That one right there is bomb.com. If you guys get the opportunity to try it, try it. I literally went over to the Carl's Jr. Um, website and everyone's like, you need to bring back, cause they posted about this green chili burger. They were like, you need to bring back the Diablo burger. And I do have to say it is bomb. So this is what this is right here. It says, um, all beef patties, but I did get substitution for, um, beyond patty, which was $2 and 29 cents extra. Um, this says charboiled over an open flame topped with a whole charboiled green chili, melty pepper, jack cheese, creamy Southwest sauce, and crisp lettuce served on a toasted potato bun. You ain't going to read yours. My this whole time, this fool literally, he always does it. He don't like to read the damn thing. He literally says, he'll I, take a bite of it and be like, it has brisket in it. People want to know all the ingredients. So I'll go to Del Taco myself. There's brisket, there's cheese, there's bacon, there's French fries, all wrapped in a nice warm tortilla. This fool is Watch. so damn lazy. I was Watch reading that whole shit the whole time. He could have busted out his phone and Watch he could have read the damn thing too. And what? I wanted to be a fat ass and get, I should have got the photo prize now you that they didn't have the pretzel. Should have. I love the pretzels from um uh what's that place? Sonics. Sonics. Oh my gosh, with their cheese, delicious. See this whole time, let me do it. Uh huh. This why this why I be getting mad at him. He I'm do like, all the work. I I do all the work. I pay for everything, and he just sits there. I get like, free food, man. I get. The, I, I got the best life. This is what it says. It sounds so much better when you read it from the menu. An oversized flour tortilla loaded with 16-hour pit-smoked pulled beef brisket, smoky honey, chipotle barbecue sauce, crinkle cut fries, crispy bacon, fresh house-grated cheddar cheese, and cool sour cream. Doesn't that sound so much better than him giving you the, the so description? So I, I missed the sour cream and the chipotle and sauce. And you didn't say it was honey chipotle brisket. They already know that from earlier. No. They knew it was going to be honey. Oh my god. Oh, this feels... I'm gonna be hungry after hefty. this. I'm gonna be hungry after this. Why does this feel like it don't weigh Is nothing? Impossible. Oh my god. No. Like, when I got the Diablo burger, it was like, look. <laughs> this is not it. Okay, did you guys see that recently Taco Bell is getting sued because their images show to have more meat than what you really get? This is... This This should... No. This is... <gasps> Nate, where's the sauce? That's a very, very sad... I'm telling you, I should have already it's known how this was going to end up being after Duncan. Yeah. It's been a Where's my, which day. one's my strong? One on the left, that one. Man, you should have bitchers or something. Um, I will say at least this is good, but damn. I'm like actually really hungry right now. Because my breakfast, to be honest with you guys, I literally, like it was a little tiny taco as you guys saw earlier. It was not enough. I will say, this was $9, right? $9. $9, pretty hefty burrito. That looks pretty we're, big. We're going to find out if it's worth $9 though. This, I tell you, this is $10 right here. I ended up uh, spending $9.90 on this, and it just looks lonely, sad. What is what is this? What? Well, oh, damn. He liked that burrito. I tell you that right, right away. Y'all. Cut it out. However he does it from Full House. Anyways, this shit is bomb. Like, I honestly feel like fast food restaurants, very mid. I would take this over Taco Bell any damn day. Over the Taco Bell? Yeah. Oh my god. And then the brisket is so flavorful. It might actually uh, actually be slow cooked for that 18 hours. 16 hours. See, because he didn't 16. read the description. He thought it was 18 hours. Well, this, I cooked mine for 18. This is not worth it. This is so plain. You barely taste the chili. There's not enough sauce in here. This is no. And the fact that I paid two dollars over what a regular a regular Beyond would have been, I would prefer a regular Beyond Famous Heart. This is honestly probably worth the nine dollars. That looks say, loaded. I will say that it's loaded. You get the sweetness of the barbecue, and then you get a little hint of chipotle. You get a little smoky flavor in there, and then the fries in here—they're not overly soggy like you think they would be. They have a nice crisp to it, so you get a little crunch. I'm surprised because normally they get soggy. Yeah, 
But this is, I'm gonna give it four, four point five stars. We're doing a whole star rating. Four. I'll five. give this honestly a two stars. Honestly, I'm like, it is so sad. I would have 100% rather had the Diablo burger. Mm -hmm. The Diablo burger, y'all. If you guys have not tried that, it is fire. It is so bomb. This. What's fire is a commercial for it. Just saying. Yeah. Well, the ones from back in the day. I don't know about nowadays. Anyways, the pickles bomb. This burger, no. Well, I guess we'll see where we end up at Del, dinner. But Del Taco. This should have been my dinner because honestly, <laughs> this is a pretty damn good burrito. That honestly looks really good. It looks really no. loaded. If you guys, yeah, like, uh, look up in the inside of that. Mm, well, oh, sorry, my face is. Yeah, exactly. Did it block me out? Mm, we didn't know we're gonna. We don't know. Out. We'll see. Whatever. Anyways, right. y'all. I guess we'll finish our food, and this is it for lunch. Honestly, so far, I'm really not too impressed. I'm really not. I do have to say the pickles were good. This burger, which I was so excited for, is just not it. Really plain. So. I guess we'll see what we get for dinner and hopefully it's something better than this because it really seems like I'm not doing too well on the picking This has impressed me sucks for him great for me. We'll see you guys for dinner Three hours later. All right y'all so it is now dinner time and um Honestly, it's if you guys are a vegetarian, this is a very hard challenge. Nate has it easy. There is new items at Carl's Jr., at uh, Popeye's, Del, Del Taco. Taco, McDonald's, everywhere, but for me, no. So you just got to get something with impossible if you can find it. No, it's you too can't. hard. Okay, so I was telling Nate, actually, right now, we're going to be picking up the habit for him. And I told him about this burger that I actually want to try. But for some reason, they don't let you substitute it with impossible at the habit. Even though you can mm -hmm. with literally every other burger on the menu except for this. So Nate's going to be trying that. I'm going to be trying mm -hmm. a Arizona exclusive, right? Because have you seen it in any other yeah, state? Yeah, I've never seen it uh, from a place called Salad and Go. Yes, from I've Salad and Go. I'm going to be trying this autumn else. wrap um with tofu and i'm just letting you guys know that i do not tofu? like tofu yes Ugh. i know yeah. well because you could get tofu or chicken and oh, yeah, chicken, yeah. so um we're gonna be going there right now and that's gonna be our dinner and i'm about over this challenge if i'm keeping it with you guys like me not being able to eat meat this will over it's, here getting all the bomb stuff so I mean, my, my food has been good but it's a lot of you know, it's a lot of fast food a lot of junk Mine's really healthy. It's actually only uh, 420 calories. Also, shout out like, to Salad and Go because you they, you can make your own salads there, your own wraps, all that good stuff. And it's only $6.45. I don't know the size of it. Never been there. Never tried it. But I, have I, I've been on here for three years. Wow. Well, no. we're going to try it right now on video. So we're going to go ahead there. We already placed our order at Salad and Go and have it. So we're going to go drive and pick it up. So we will do a little taste test in just a little bit. All right, y'all, so we done got our dinner right here, and I do have to say, um, I'm getting a little delusional. This is a pretty big wrap for $6.45. I want to say never had Southern Go, but for size, you get a brownie point well, right there. Well, compared to my uh, burrito earlier, that thing was $9, and it's like the same size, and that feels pretty damn hefty. This is, yeah, this feels heavy. I'm kind of, let me let me wrap it on up right here. Oh, you mean oh wrap it on? Why that, is it wet? That is very, that's very messy right there. Oh, oh my God, this is going to get messy inside my car. So you want to go and burrito. tell them about your burger? <laughs> oh my God. Y'all, I'm so sorry, but these little food challenge videos, I don't see how people do it. To be quite honest with you, I'm like literally over it. <laughs> First of all, for money wise, second of all, like, Y'all don't even know the stress that I've been trying to look for places to get new items. I saw this video floating around YouTube. You know, obviously that's where I got the idea from. And I'm like, oh, that'll be fun. Trying new things. No, it's hard as hell. Okay. And expensive. It's easy when you, you know, eat meat. Yeah. When you eat meat. They, oh, wow. This would have been a breeze. But for me, it was really hard. But also, anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Tell them about your burger. Because that actually sounds. It sounds really damn good. So it's the Korean barbecue char, which is new. I don't know how long they're going to have it for. But it's a seasoned char grilled patty topped with tender braised beef marinated with teriyaki sauce, white American cheese, cream soy garlic aioli, crispy cream cheese. Sound it out. <laughs> Sound it out. Yeah, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Because I want it because afterwards it's cabbage. And then caramel onions. So you put kimchi and cabbage together. Yeah. And then it's a green leaf lettuce and then your tomatoes on a brioche bun. Well, that is toasted. I realize right now that I didn't read to you the autumn wrap because I do love me an autumn wrap and autumn wraps are great. So I got me an autumn wrap <laughs> because it's autumn, you know, and it's it's on the menu. I thought it was more fall failure, but all right. Autumn is fall. Whatever. Fall. Anyways, this is sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, candy pecans, uh, dried cranberries, grated Parmesan cheese, romaine. And I got it with the tofu, which I'm probably going to throw up. Balsamic vinaigrette. Balsamic vinaigrette. That's what's See, leaking everywhere. In a flour tortilla. So It sounds like Thanksgiving. You know what's so funny, by the way? I don't know if you ever look at the comments of our videos. Like, whenever we make a joke about, like, tortilla or something, people be trying to tell us how to pronounce things. Like, 
It's a joke, okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right on into this big old fat rap. That this, oh, that, hey, that looks like the picture. Oh my God, show them that. I had to stop Nate right there so I could get a little B-roll of that burger because honestly, it looks good. Smells yes, good. I don't know if you saw if y'all saw, but Taco Bell is getting sued because like their images look like they have more meat than what you get. I have to say that looks like the image. Like that's pretty spot on. That's really good. All right, let's dig on in. It looks very saucy. Ooh, this is much more cold than I expected, <clears throat> but I guess it makes sense. All the ingredients are kind of cold. Mmm. This is by far my new favorite burger from Habit. Like I'm gonna be getting salad and go more. Oh my god, this tastes so fresh and good. Oh my god, I'm gonna take, gonna take another bite here. You got me over mm. here stuttering. Honestly, y'all, this. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's stuck in my throat. But this is so delicious because you not only get the crispiness of the onions and the kimchi, but you get a little hint of the teriyaki. And then on top of, you know, your regular seasoned beef patty, you have the. Um, Teriyaki, uh, what is it? What was it again? Teriyaki. Aioli. Well, no, that's like garlic soy. aioli. There's that, and there's also you know shreds of um, beef on top of it, so you get double beef. It is honestly outstanding. It is, damn. <sighs> this is good. Honestly, I'm gonna give this. You know what? I'm gonna give this five stars right here. This is really good, and to be honest with you. I'm a fan because y'all know these prices are insane these days. And for this to only be $6.45, I think that's great. By the way, the salads are $6.45 too. So now I want to try a salad from there. Honestly, hey, you've never I'm tried salad though? No, I've never oh, tried Oh yeah, you said that earlier. Um, but honestly, I'm going to be going there. And honestly, my campus has a uh, habit on it. And let's just say I'm going to be using ah! like, it. Them, you done lost some. Oh my God, I ate an arm hair with it. Extra seasoning, but <laughs> I hope my uh, campus has this on its own. Um, has this? It's so delicious. Oh my gosh! I'm all. Let me wrap that up, okay? Because if we're keeping it real with you guys, it's a little earlier than we had expected, and we just ate them fried pickles and plain ass burger. But I was like, oh my god, I don't want to film during the nighttime so that way we have light. So I'm a little this bit is, full, dude. This is like. God, Let me smell so, it. I just want to smell it. It's so bomb, like. Oh, I, no, that does smell really good. It's, it's just, uh, it's just I just don't. Yeah, he do, 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 can't talk because that burger is so good. I just have to say I don't understand why you can't switch it out for an impossible patty, but I guess maybe because it has a shredded beef on it. Well, not only that, but also, too, you can tell there's the seasoning on the actual burger itself. Normally, you, you just get a regular, you know, burger from there. They don't put that much seasoning on it, but, like, it's a special type of seasoning. You can taste the difference between that and then some of their other burgers. Oh. Anyways, y'all, we're going to wrap up this video. Look, I want to tell you guys, I know that these challenge videos, and you guys can watch everyone else's videos, they all say 24 hours. But, like, realistically, so if you say 24 hours, you should have breakfast at 10 a.m., and then you should have another breakfast the next day. But I just don't wake up in time for breakfast, and we ate at the only spot, which is Dunkin', that has new items that serves breakfast all day. So... We're going into the day right here, okay? So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. It costs a lot of money. It took a lot of my patience because I went over every single menu trying to find something new. So And we ended up having to drive to numerous locations numerous. of different places. And because I'm a fat ass, I got fried pickles and a burger within one sitting from two different locations. So that is true. Overall, it was like an appetizer. I have to say, out of everything that I tried, the, well, first of all, the ice spice drink was good. But this wrap right here is the way to go. And I'm a fan. Every time I come out here to Phoenix now, I will be going to Salad and Go because I'm just mind blown by the size, the price, and it is delicious. You know what I mean? Because I was thinking, all right, that big, that hefty, for $6.45, and it's not going to taste good. That definitely right there is the win. Seriously, really, really good. Actually, mom would really like Salad and Go. It's a lot like the Fresh Fusion place on campus I was talking about. Oh. That's why I love that place so much. It tastes it's fresh. So I kind of know what he's going towards since I've had similar, but... And then overall, I mean, five stars, 100% for the burger, of course. Wow, so you but, put that above the brisket burrito? Yes, I think it oh. tastes way better. But I am going to say my favorite thing probably was the brisket burrito. Only because... You only you but, rated but, but, that like a four stars. You I rated it, that five. I give it a four and a half, but I'm only saying this because when you compare the two different places, come on. Like... Del Taco compared to Habit. I so you're saying that you expect less from Del Taco? Yes, and they actually surprised me with that. So that's why I'm saying that overall that's the better thing. I still feel like your top item should be the one that you rated the highest. Well, then you did that with the Tam Tam's video. I was I was rewatching back the video, editing it, you know. And then he had said like um, he gave the mint chocolate one a five out of five, uh, but then he said his favorite one was a different one. I was like, 
You gave it a five out of five. Come on. Well, in this case, I was expecting a lot less from Del Taco, but they, you know, exceeded. Anyways, y'all, make sure so, you guys give this video a big thumbs up. And we would like to do this again, but like maybe way in the future, because this was very difficult for a non-meat eater. Maybe so. just eating stuff from gas stations. I told him, I think it would be fun, like eating only at 7-Eleven for 24 hours. That would be a challenge right there. He'll just eat hot Cheetos the entire time. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, y'all, give this video a big thumbs up. We will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.